thing, man, what is poppin'? All right, y'all, so we have a dope video just like every single day. I mean, you know what it is. But anyway, um, it's the top 10 superstars then and now house compilation now. I'm kind of interested to see. If LeBron's not on this dog, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enough of me talking, dude, because I don't know what I'm saying. To tell you the truth, I'm really dumb, and uh, <laughs> alright, so let's get it started. Let's get it. Because Messi, you know Messi. Dollars overnight. For many players, this completely changes their world and allows them to replace a shoddy childhood home with a mansion worth millions of dollars. See some of the most dramatic upgrades mm -hmm. from your favorite superstar athletes. Favorite superstar athletes. So check out these amazing mansions. But before you do that, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and uh, be the first to know of new content. LeBron, yeah, LeBron James. Better be first. <laughs> LeBron James is known as cool the king on the NBA court, but he also lives like one cool of his lavish homes. The NBA superstar has made millions oh, yeah, of yeah. and used his money to more than make up for his rough childhood <laughs> growing up. For many parts of his childhood, LeBron James didn't have a home. He was constantly moving around with his single mother, would miss a ton of school, and instead of having his own bedroom, he would spend nights on the couch of a friend's house. Now things are completely different as James has his choice of bedrooms all around the world. What? One of LeBron's newest homes is a lush mansion in Los Whoa. Angeles. The $20 million home LA? Lakers? Next year? Question mark, question mark. It has over 9,000 square feet of space and includes a massive master bedroom suite. It also includes a huge terrace, backyard pool, and all of the amenities for the NBA star. Oh LeBron God. also owns a mansion in Akron, Ohio for his time during the basketball season. During the years where he played on the Miami Heat, James also owned a lavish mansion in the city of Miami, Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling may look small on the soccer field, but the Premier League but he's makes it a big he's in his personal life. Cool Sterling is. is a true case of a rags to riches story. He grew up in a poor part of Jamaica where his childhood home included bars oh. on the window and Sterling was forced to play soccer in the streets. Thankfully, Sterling was yeah, able to have a successful soccer career in his young life and earned millions before he even turned the age of 20. Now the only similarity between his childhood home and current mansion is the white exterior. When Sterling first joined the Liverpool team, he purchased a lavish mansion and furnished it with all kinds of custom details. Ooh. There's a custom barbershop, a whole room dedicated Damn. to Michael Jackson, and an indoor swimming pool. Ooh. It's quite the upgrade from the tiny Ooh. home that he grew up in Jamaica. The small player has plenty of space to roam around and enjoy his new life of luxury. And now that he plays for Manchester City, the player had to sell this mansion, right, but he quickly settled down in a new luxury home. Exactly. Michael Ower. NFL player Michael Moore is famously known for he was in the graphical film The Blind Side, starring Sandra Bullock. The movie represents a true rags to riches story as Ower grew up in multiple foster homes and spent a lot of time without a home to call his own. That's when the Tui family took him in, taught him football, and helped him attend college. After getting drafted to the NFL in 2009, things have completely changed for the star. He started his career on the Baltimore Ravens and then signed with the yeah. Tennessee Titans for a single season deal. During this season, Ower purchased a mansion worth $1.3 nice. million. Dollars. The That's home nice. has over 8,000 square feet of space wow. and includes six bedrooms. The inside has nice. some incredible features, including a highly detailed library, oh. elegant living room areas, and a huge master bathroom with a walk-in shower and jetted tub. Ooh. Now that Ower plays for the Carolina cool Panthers, ass. he may have a new mansion that he calls home in North Carolina. Either way, the huge NFL star will never have to return to the same lifestyle that he lived before a loving family took him in and changed his life forever. Awesome. Josh Hamilton. Yeah, you Baseball rich player, as hell. Josh, Josh Hamilton, Hamilton is has rich. gone through years of ups and downs in the MLB. During his early years, he was drafted with a huge contract, Filthy but rich. a car accident prevented him from ever stepping onto the field. Are you this is when Hamilton was introduced to the I world of drugs and alcohol, and his life spiraled out of control. Hamilton nearly lost said, everything you serious? before he decided hey, to get clean. On. Then, I'm in weak. 2007, he was finally able to make his MLB debut and changed his life around for the better. Instead of crashing at his grandma's house, Hamilton could now afford his own home, a huge mansion located in Newport Beach. Ooh. Valued at $16.5 million, the mansion is as extravagant as oh they get. Gosh. It has a gorgeous view of the ocean, features over 10,000 square feet of living space, and includes elevators oh, to get from floor nice. to floor. I, I, oh. All of the features on the inside I'm living in a mansion also has a massive That's garage, fact. ideal for dozens of cars. The backyard? features an infinity pool that faces right out towards the beach. Now, that's ideal after a long day of playing baseball. Wayne Rooney. 
Wayne Rooney is one of soccer's biggest stars in England, and it is definitely showcased with a sprawling piece of property that the Premier League player owns. It didn't exactly start out that way, as Rooney grew up in an impoverished area that was filled with guns, gangs, and drugs on really? a daily basis. Rooney's life actually began in a rundown apartment building. Things began to change when the young star focused on soccer and became a huge star for Manchester United. After earning Player of the Year award and becoming a huge success, Rooney got a permanent upgrade to his living situation. The massive mansion features a lot of dedication to the world of soccer. This includes signed jerseys, memorabilia, and images from his various years on the field. He has his own custom bar, a huge patio area, and plenty of living space for his wife and children. You can get a detailed look inside the home by watching the documentary entitled Wayne Rooney, The Man Behind the Goals. As a father of two children, a number of the house's areas are dedicated to things like a trampoline, multiple arcades, and a foosball table. Okay, sports buffs, time to take a short break and brush up on a little trivia. Whoa, While the superstar play. athletes on our list may appreciate their money in mansions, can you name the NFL player that was infamously known for leaving a rented mansion completely trashed and wrecked? What? Stay tuned for the answer at the end I of the video. I don't know that. <laughs> Alexis Sanchez. The soccer oh, sensation grew up in a small village in what Chile. His home was essentially a four-walled shack with barely any rooms and windows. In fact, the whole Let me know if you guys just got that answer right in are terrible to look in the back comments. On. After signing a huge contract to play for Barcelona, Sanchez forged ahead and purchased a new home. After becoming a famous player, the street where his former shack was located is now renamed Alexis Sanchez as a dedication Dang. to the star. Sanchez's new home Love. is a lavish mansion based near nice. London. The home has a beautiful brick style and is packed with all kinds of features. Some of the highlights include a personal cinema, a large gym and sauna, and a large backyard swimming pool with a guest house. It is a huge upgrade Bro, from his original trees, home, just, as the they just make in the backyard like is everything better. a comparable <laughs> size to the home that he grew up in. There is also a huge garage that holds Sanchez's luxurious car collection. Ooh. Some of his luxury cars include an Audi R8, Ooh. Ferrari, and Lamborghini. Ooh. Karen Butler. Karen Butler has one of the most unbelievable stories in Ron NBA Butler. history. At just the age of he 11, my Butler player. was a drug dealer. He was my favorite player Wisconsin, when I was younger. Moving from home to home and often spent I used to want to be Butler. That's <laughs> During his teenage years, Butler's main home was actually a detention center. What? And it was in this center this. that Butler learned to love the game of basketball. He learned to master the game while cleaning up the past and was eventually recruited by UConn. After spending multiple years in the NBA, Butler made his dreams come true by purchasing a multi-million dollar mansion. The mansion is housed in Los Angeles and has a number of unique features on the sprawling property. Some of these unique features include a saltwater pool, putting green, and a 900 square foot guest home for family and friends. The NBA star can also get plenty of practice time with a half-court basketball court on the property. The interior of the home features a sprawling staircase, home theater, and plenty of amenities located within the 5,700 square feet of living space. Is, Not bad crazy. for someone who could have thrown their whole life away oh before goodness. the age of 13. Novak Djokovic. Becoming oh, the number yes. one tennis star in the world is no easy feat. I don't know, Roger is there. It's especially challenging when the court that you train on has been blown up by a bomb. What? That's exactly what happened to tennis star Novak Djokovic. Growing up in Serbia, Novak was part of a war-torn country, and those impacts greatly affected his childhood. In 1999, not only were all of the tennis courts destroyed in a bombing, but half of his childhood home crumbled in the process. Oh Through an emotional Facebook Live video, the superstar showcased the sad destruction that occurred to his homeland. Despite being sad about the past, the odds were really not in his favor forward to with his new home. So a massive amazing. mansion overlooking Miami, he is the proud owner of a multi-million dollar beachfront property that is a pipe dream for people all over the world. The elegant mansion has a gorgeous open floor plan with ocean views from nearly any room in the home. Along oh with the to the beach, the Palm home trees also features once again. Its own large private swimming God area. damn it. A view of Miami skyline can be seen in God the distance, damn it. and the home is perfect for views of both sunrise and sunset. Mike Tyson. Oh no. Mike Tyson's love for pigeons grew long before he had a love for boxing. This is thanks to his small apartment in Brooklyn, New York, where pigeons would be housed on the rooftop. Tyson's small apartment is a far cry from where the boxer would end up by the end of his career. After earning multiple boxing titles and millions of dollars, Mike Tyson now proudly calls Las Vegas his home and has purchased multiple mansions in the city. 
Mike Tyson is not shy when it hey. comes to spending money, and that <laughs> cool was the case when he upgraded Ooh. from one mansion to another larger one in oh, the like Las Vegas neighborhood. The new home, valued at $2.5 million, features a massive outdoor living space, over 8,000 square feet of space, ah, and plenty of room to hold oh, all of Tyson's be. boxing memorabilia. This is actually a downgrade so from a massive 19,000 square foot mansion that the athlete once owned in the 1980s and 90s. That mansion featured a huge indoor pool, multiple media rooms, and way too much living space for a single person. Now he's a little more humble about his living situation with the Las Vegas mansion that he owns. Lionel oh, no. Messi. Lionel Messi. Messi is one of the most famed soccer players in the world, but the Argentina-born star may be remembered more for his architectural designs in the near future. Messi spent a lot of time planning a new home, probably because the one he grew up in didn't offer too much. Looking more Whoa. like a prison than an actual home, the small cement home featured steel gates, shuttered windows, and not much when it comes to curb so amazing with people After joining out Barcelona and becoming God, their so greatest cool. goal scorer of all so time, cool. Messi earned enough millions to design his own home. Officially known as the 1-0 Echo House, the house is actually shaped like a soccer ball and features a unique circular design. One half of the exterior features a large pool, while the other half features green turf similar to a soccer field. That the house is, is a dope. modern twist on the mansion and has mirrored glass on the roof to help fill the home with a ton of natural Ooh. light. An entrance building on the home is actually in the shape of the number one, making the whole design look like a large oh number 10, referencing goodness. Messi's jersey number. Is now cool let's see how much sports knowledge you have Messi's with our trivia answer. Des Bryant is the NFL course, player that got into course, big trouble for renting a mansion and leaving it completely Ignorance. trashed when he moved Ignorance. out. The mansion is actually owned by a United States Senator. And there you have it. What home do you think was the most impressive? Are there any that we Messi's missed? Let us disgusting. know in the comment section down below. Wow. Don't forget right, to like so this video, share it. Because he's just plugging right now. Uh, <laughs> I plug a lot too, I can't even lie. All right, y'all, so, so that, hopefully this guy has motivated you guys to chase your dreams and like, reach out and hopefully live in a mansion one day because hopefully one of you guys do uh, i know for a fact that this definitely motivated me man like i'm gonna continue doing what i'm doing <laughs> um all right so that's the video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe because we do this every day it's a family right game for life you know what it is huh yeah all right y'all take it easy fam Peace.